This is Saucy Effects, and uh, I'm gonna do a tutorial on time remapping. Now, time remapping is how you sync in After Effects. There's different ways, and uh, I'm sure other people do it in different ways than I do. But I'll teach you the way I do it because it works good for me. So, um, the first step I always do is import my clip and um, song. So, how you can do that is just double tap in this area, or you can go to File, Import, and then you just get your song and uh, clip. So, get that in here like this. And then basically, you want to open the waveform for the um, uh, song. So just do this and go to waveform, or you can press, uh, click on this and press L waveform. And then what I do is I mark all my beats. It just makes everything a lot easier. You don't have to, but I highly recommend it. Um, so I've already done this just for time's sake. So basically, you look for, you listen, and then if there's a beat there, you mark it. So how you do that is you just go over here and you drag it there so do that first and then once you're done with that you have your clip and your song so right click on the clip time enable time remapping okay so once you have that basically uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the your first beat and you're gonna drag for forwards um, not too much so not like all the way like that but like you want it to have enough so what you can do is click on this um, and go into your graph editor when you do this. You don't have to, but then you just drag up. Just to make it's just to make sure it's a good amount. You don't have to do that, but uh, sometimes I do that. Then just go to all your beats and drag forward. So um, you can really do this on your preference. The more you do, the faster this thing's gonna be. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to have all your keyframes, and what you want to do is select all of them, now right-click on your mouse or pad or whatever you have, right-click that, keyframe, um, assistant, and easy ease. Now that should look like this. So once you've done that, you want to go, select one, and press this button, which is your graph editor, and um, so basically I'm just going to explain the graph editor really quickly. Basically, for this, if it goes up, that means it's going fast. If it goes down, or if it's if it's flat, that's not moving at all. If it goes down, it's in reverse. So, what you want to do is select this first leg, drag the left leg up, like that, and drag this right leg down, like that. So it looks like that. And then, what you're going to do, you want to go for all of them. You can zoom in on this a little bit. And do the same thing for each one left leg up, right leg down. But you don't want to do it too much because if it looks like this, then it's going to go backwards and look, it's going to look like <clears throat> it's going to look like this. See how it goes backwards? You don't want that to happen. I mean, for some places you might, but you really don't want that. So, make sure it doesn't go backwards. So, just do that for everyone. Left leg up, right leg down. Left leg up, right leg down. Um so you just go through and do that for each one. Okay, so once you've done that, it should look like steps almost. Um, I didn't make this a very big value, but if you look, they kind of look like steps. And um, that's the look you should be going for. So click back on a graph editor, and I'm just going to render a preview really quick. Oh, actually I forgot to say one thing. You want, you're going to want to turn on frame blending, what I use. So to allow frame blending, you go over here and hit that. Now you actually have to select it for the clip also. So over here, if you do this, it's going to look like slow mo, but it's going to look um, kind of blurry. That's not the right word, but so what I do is I click this once, twice. Then you have a pixel motion. Now if you have RSMB, RSMB, I would highly recommend it because um, what's that going to do is it just makes it look better. So I would add about one that's what I usually add and then basically uh, I'm just going to run out of the preview and you can see what it's going to look like
Okay, so this is what you're going to look like if you've done it right. Alright, so that's basically it. Um, obviously, you can use this for a ton of different clips, and this is just really simple. If you have any other questions, ask. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and leave a comment on what I should do next. Alright, peace.